Hi everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a book review of Wolf of the Plains by Connor Gildon. This book is the first in a five book series, The Conqueror series, focusing on Genghis Khan. A few notes just before I get more into this non-spoiler review. I would like you all to know that I do not know how to pronounce almost every single of these characters' names. They are all of Mongolian descent and I, as a Westerner, am not knowledgeable with how I should be pronouncing these names or how I should be referring to them. But please excuse my mistakes, I do apologise profusely. Also, I am unfamiliar with Genghis Khan as a historical figure and as the conqueror. I have no knowledge of his reign, which is probably why I was so interested by this series. So if I make any incorrect statements or any statements that are known not to be factual, just know that all my information has come from this book and my understanding of it. Wolf of the Plains is set in Mongolia and follows a young boy named Temujun, his name I don't know how to pronounce, who is the second eldest son of the wolf's tribe's leader, Yusuji. Upon his birth, it is noted that Temujun has a blood clot on his hand, a nefarious omen. However, there are also some good omens coming alongside this bad one, that of death, and that is that he will be an incredible rider of horses and an incredible leader. Throughout the novel, we see Temujun, his older brother Bector, and his three younger brothers all grow up and become more understanding of their role in their wolf's clan. Aside from Bector, in the beginning, all of the brothers are just boys. They don't know what it means to be a man, they have not gone off to find a wife, and they have not really been trained in any sort of warfare by their father or any of the clan. However, this all changes very fast in fact. In Temujun's, I believe, 11th year, he and his family are left by themselves on the plains by their clan. This is not a spoiler, it's written on the back. Five brothers, one mother and a baby sister. As you can imagine, such a circumstance either produces great weakness or great strength. And that is really the crucible of this novel and of Temujun's character. We then see him survive that and develop more as a character and see his ideals change due to the circumstances he has experienced. I gave this book a 4.25 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really enjoyed it. It was addictive, it was horrifying, and it was just really interesting because I am unfamiliar with Mongolian culture. So much of this book was written with the knowledge of that culture and with tons of research being done. It feels authentic. I believe the author focused a lot on the facts and weaved in fictitious events to make everything seem more coherent or it is a story of survival, but it also focuses on culture, growth, and what it takes to be a man. I have a lot of great things to say about this book and its characters, which I will get onto, but at first I thought I'd start with my criticisms. As a woman, it is slightly confronting for me to read scenes with rape and sexual assault in them. Well, not slightly, it's very confronting. Such scenes were present in this novel, though I do believe it was realistic of the time and that the author did not take any satisfaction out of delivering these characters such pain. It was not pleasant, and if you have had experience with sexual assault or rape or are triggered by such things, I do not recommend you read this book. Many of the women are also portrayed in a very submissive tone, which I understand was expected of many of them and was normal in such a time, in such a place, yet it still just didn't really connect with me and work with me considering I cannot relate to any of such behaviours or ideas. There aren't really any main female characters, which is a problem in itself, but it also means that they aren't developed and focused upon as heavily enough as some of the boys are, so we don't actually get to see their true nature and whether they really believe in the way they're portraying themselves. The women seem to have a strength, a very different type to the men, but a strength their own, and I would have loved to see more of this, so that's where I take away points from this book. I would have loved to see more of the women's role in keeping things together and how they can rise up and become assertive rather than being submissive to men, whether that be from their own clan, their own family, or other clans. And I'll stop there with the criticism and just continue on with this review. There were so many positive things I have to say about it and I can't wait to get into it. So this book followed Tim Jun, soon to become Genghis Khan, and his brothers. It focuses very heavily on war and the strength of men, and that was very interesting for me to read, though not necessarily relatable. The characters are mostly men. There is Tim Jun, his older brother Bector, and his three younger brothers, Kasa, Kachuin, and Temuzun, I believe. I'm sorry if I pronounced him wrong, I probably have. Temujun Genghis Khan as a main character 
character was incredibly interesting. As the second eldest in the family, he is close to being heir to the Wolves clan after his father passes, but he is not the top of the line, his brother Thatcher is. And so he always has this competition with his eldest brother and competition over his younger brothers as well. He is a natural born leader, he believes that even from a young age, he was meant to be the leader of the wolves, though his brother Vector is first in line of succession. After experiencing a lot of trials at the end of the book, Temujin comes out of it as brave, strong, courageous, idealistic, and overall an incredible character. And the fact that this character, this story, is that of a real man blows my mind. Such strength and hardiness was required to just survive the winter, let alone achieve all the things that this character will do and has done in this book. I don't have much to say about the older brother Vector. He was a piece of poop. <laughs> he wasn't that great. He was very narcissistic and he believed that his life was better than his brothers and his families because he was the next in line of succession. Suji, Temujun and Vector and all the kids, father and leader of the Wolves clan was also a very interesting man. He had a lot of love and affection for his family but he couldn't really show that to his boys because there was this stigma about producing weak men when it comes to showing affection which would obviously get them killed in such a landscape. Temujun's mother, Wuhan, was an absolute legend. She was one of the main female characters and the strongest female I believe that was presented in this novel and I really enjoyed her presence. Though I don't think strength at all makes up a great female character, I do not think that is the basis of a fantastic female character. It was still really refreshing to see in a landscape where women were portrayed as submissive or weak in their roles. Hulun was protective, admirable, strong in a very quiet and determined way. When she had every single right to fall apart, she pulled herself together for herself and for her children. And I think that is just incredible. Temujun's brothers, younger brothers I should say, Kaso, Kachuin and Temusun were all incredible interesting. They were so very different and their dynamics with each other were just so fun to read about. I have a younger brother but we aren't necessarily deeply connected as he is still a baby and we haven't actually had a proper conversation yet. So it was enjoyable to read about such a connection and to see such bonds. Kasa, the third eldest, was optimistic, sort of the class clown. He was fun and charming and everybody liked him. He was fiercely dedicated to his family just as all the brothers except Vector really were and he was just a cool character to read about. I feel a bit sorry for him and also relate to him because he seems to put up with a brunt of his siblings and I relate to that. <laughs> Kachuin, the fourth eldest, second youngest brother, was quiet and perceptive. He was very aware and also self-aware and he was sort of the wise character out of the group which was interesting because in the beginning of the book I believe he was around 8 years old, I'm probably wrong with that figure. Kim Jun was closest with him out of all of his brothers so it was really fun to see their relationship grow and change through the trials that they were put through. And their youngest brother, Tim Sun, was very, very endearing if not a bit annoying at times. By nature he is significantly more sensitive than his brothers which makes for him putting up with a lot of bad stuff and being forced into a lot of things that he is currently uncomfortable with. He ends up developing in a great way, in a very noticeable way by the end of the book and I can't wait to see where his character goes in the future. I do not know what happens to any of these characters after the events of this book because I am not knowledgeable on the history of Dennis Khan. Yet I am incredibly excited to read the rest of the series because this book has set such an incredible foundation for a epic true story. In terms of plot, this book was heavily war and politics focused. It was very interesting to see the different dynamics between the Wolves tribes and the other tribes as well as the greater Qin Empire which comes more into play at the end of the novel. I don't feel like I can really say too much without spoiling the events of the book. I won't mention any more other than that. The tribes are battling, the Qin Empire is looming and everybody just needs to survive in the plains which is a lot easier said than done. Themes of unity and family also intertwine with the plot. In order to survive, one must be deeply connected with their tribe in order to protect themselves and the things they love and the things that they stand for. To wrap up, overall this book was incredible. It was epic, it was shocking and it was addictive to read. There was a real authentic feel to the way things were presented. Temujun was an incredible main character to follow. His strength and his ideals are something 
I think many can aspire to. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you again next time. Stay safe. Happy reading.